right over here. This comes from that park place again. Sweet Baby Inc. employee admits goal is burning the game industry down to the ground. What do you think about this? What do you think of, of yeah. this? Why do they always look the same? Yeah. Uh, but what do you think about this? This person that, that's basically a video game that works in the video game consulting company that works with a lot of major AAA studios wants to burn the games industry to the ground. The ground. Like, yeah, good on Square Enix that they finally separate separated themselves apart from this. And I do hope more follow suit and do not anymore seek out these consultants for advice ad, not really advice for takes that will destroy your games like there's there shouldn't be any more forespoken or what whatever wokeifying you're doing with dra the dragon quest uh three three i believe dragon quest three remake because they're, they're a lot they're wokeifying that game too uh yeah. but yeah uh like I said in the tweet, I've never seen it this brazen and upfront. It's like I always thought, okay, sweet baby is like they can't be any more upfront than they are. But th this, I think, this is the worst of them all. Even though it's an old presentation, it's like the fact that you say you want to burn it to the ground. It's like what, what, what the fuck, man? It's like mm -hmm. what the hell? It's that you tried making your own games and it didn't work. You ruined other established games, but it didn't work either. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I. I hope that it's finally the death knell for Sweet Baby and other consultants like them. Like these uh, game companies don't want to associate themselves with it anymore, and not just like you know, not like the they want they're gonna do the stealth, stealth joining the company where they don't list they don't declare it anymore. I just hope that mm -hmm. game companies are smart enough to not recruit them at all, publicly or privately. One hundred percent. Now, speaking of uh, Square Enix, this comes to us from Bounding the Comics. Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts the dev studio Square Enix appears to have ended working relationships with Sweet Baby Inc. Now, I actually did check it uh, live a couple of days ago, and this bodes well for a lot of us is because we want more big titty Tifa, okay? We, we do know that she has H or J cups originally. They shrunk it down to triple D. It is what it is, but I'm still happy of it. Uh, that happened right over here. This is the old one. That's Square Enix, and if you scroll down, it's no longer there. This is huge. This is massive. This is the big W. And the thing is that most recently, Square came out and said that they want to step away from doing quantity and doing more quality, focusing on their main IP, such as Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 4 is supposed to be coming out uh, in the next couple of years. And they're also working on Final Fantasy 7 Part 3. Yeah. So I'm assuming and, it's going to be, it's called. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I hope so. It's like, I also, I also know, like, the president was saying, they want to level up some of their B tier games to AAA, like Star Ocean and Nier. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. I really hope you stick to your guns and go multi platform. Don't, do not do exclusivity anymore. Yeah. Square. And the thing is that Square, after that, Square kiss just, they, they're not stopping. In direct opposition to the industry standards, Final Fantasy character designer Tetsuya Nomura says video game characters should be attractive. Do you agree, Gray? Do you, you agree mean, that video? You mean if you make them attractive, people will pay money for it? That's the first yeah. time I heard of it. Yeah, ain't no I... way that's true, right? Yeah, never heard of it before. Yeah, let's see right over here. Uh, honest question: Who hasn't noticed the recent video game industry trend devs making their characters, especially the female ones, outright unattractive hybrids of masculine and feminine features? Absolutely, K Vest is actually one of them. Mrs. Freeze, absolutely, and like another one, right? And uh, the, the thing is that Aloy, I know that she does look good, but she looks a lot better in the first game. Like, I, I don't know, she, they, they made her fat or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But there is a quote right over here that's from uh, Nomura right over here, right? So uh, let's go right over here. In a recent interview with Shueisha Young Jump, a machine translated by Deep L. Nomura was asked if there was anything you keep in mind when designing a protagonist, to which he admitted that he held a given ca a character's visual appeal as one of his top design priorities. This is absolutely based of Nomura. The reason, quote, the reason I make protagonists good looking is that in high school, a classmate of mine was playing a game and the protagonist wasn't very good looking, he recalled. My friend said, why does he have to be ugly in the game world too? 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. He, he gets he gets it, man. He, he, they yep. get it. And, and that yeah. really made an impression on me. From that experience, I thought I want to be cool in the game, and that's how I will design my protagonists, right? And he said, however, he also acknowledged that there's a fine line uh, when designing uh, designing characters is because he said, in my opinion, the protagonist cannot be too adventurous in terms of design and setting. If he does something too eccentric, he becomes too edgy and is no longer a character that you can empathize with. I actually like characters with strong quirks, so I let my enemy characters go on adventures that the protagonist cannot, which is actually really well done. It's, and the thing is, that that's how it should be, right? Of course, there's a lot of people who are saying, uh, are you saying that you want to fuck pixels? Yes, I do. Scarlet is one of them. But this person says, word of here says, someone at Square Enix must have an adult woman fetish by judging Scarlet's design. Adult woman fetish. This person, this person who wrote it has a pedophilic fetish. Yeah, the fact that you said adult woman fetish, those three words. So, so you're saying that it should not be an adult fetish. That's what is that what you're trying to say? That is crazy, man. Right here, said, so how do idiots manage to become even more retarded by single uh, every single year? This is crazy, man. This person just outed themselves by saying that. They're a pedophile and they love lolly content. They go to lollycon, right? But here's the thing though. I I like video games. And I I I like video games. And the thing is, this is this is in celebration. I showed this the other day. Mm -hmm. This is what we're gonna be getting moving forward. I love I, I love Final Fantasy. I think everyone in chat likes Final Fantasy. I think Tifa's everyone's favorite Final Fantasy girl. Maybe Terra, maybe Celis. Who knows, but Tifa, she's the GOAT, all right? She's the GOAT. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. And the fact that they are no longer a part of Sweet Baby, this is an absolute W for Square. They should go back to making her boobs bigger. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen, but hey. Hey, man. I, 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 I can only hope for that. But, yeah. but um, wait, how, how do you feel about this, though? Yeah, it's a win for Square, but they need to. There's, I I commented in your video actually in your video saying it's like they gotta get rid of the ethics department too, if they wanna you know, get back to the game and actually succeed and really, they're do they're in terms of direction of developing games they're doing the right thing like more quality more platforms yes correct but you gotta you gotta complete remove the wokeness completely and you. Part of that is, yeah, disassociating with Sweet Baby Inc. And you got to control your ethics department. Like, ethics department should only go as far as will it offend culture wise? That's it. Like, mm -hmm. if there's reducing tits. Like, yeah, that's not really ethics department anymore, in my opinion. Yep. But yeah, uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, look, I, I, I'm, I, they're already working on Final Fantasy VII. Probably, it's, it's probably going to be called Reunion. I know that it's already a crisis core is already called reunion. I have a feeling they're just going to call it Final Fantasy VII reunion. It just makes sense. Um, and I know that they're not going to make Tifa's boob as big as it. But the thing is that moving forward, as long as Square Enix is no longer in bed with Sweet Baby Inc., you are guaranteed going to like imagine if they made uh, on a, a remaster or a remake of a specific game. You know, you're not going to see the Dragon Quest stuff anymore. Right, you're not you're not going to see any like uh, you know covering of making nerfing Tifa, you know uh, hiding specific things or you know making some stuff specifically woke or not woke. It doesn't really matter, given the fact that most of those people have already been infiltrated and working at Square. They're like whatever it is, don't get more woke than whatever wokeness is already in their company. But obviously, story comes first, uh, gameplay comes first, and of course, if you have hot characters like Tifa bouncing her titties around this like this game is going to sell so much money of course i don't know where i got this image from but i just wanted to share it with everyone <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i i think japan is slowly pushing back on the dei stuff but the next company that needs going to be that's going to learn the hard way is bondi namco i know they're just about they're just getting into the esg funds they're, they're going to learn the hard way what's going to happen 
I, they have an incoming game, right? Like Awakening Nine, Nine Awakening, where they featured an ugly character. So they're gonna learn the hard way. Yeah, you're gonna lose a lot of money by doing yeah. this. But well, the good thing is that we're not gonna get any more stuff like Forspoken. Yeah, because that that that's all like a sweet baby project, right? It's crazy. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.